Hi everybody. Well, here's my new hydrogen generator. I spent the past couple weeks constructing this apparatus. I gotta say I did a better job than I usually do on uh, machining uh, these pieces of acrylic. Just use acet acetone to connect them together. Use half inch this time for the top of my water reservoir and for uh, this right here is a holder for the water gas separator, which is this thing, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, this time I did not build the electrolyzer itself. I actually bought this one on eBay, pre-assembled. Um, but this one is capable of two liters a minute, but it gets extremely hot at that rate, so I usually don't exceed one and a half liters a minute. Um, when the water warms up, I can actually keep it under two volts or about two volts per cell. This is 10 cells in series, so 20 volts and still make near two liters a minute, but that still gets the water really hot. So this apparatus, what, yeah, this entire water reservoir will actually get very, pretty hot, like uh, to where there's like water vapor getting in the lines. Um, but so the electrolyzer has three ports. This bottom one um, is taking in water from the water reservoir. You can see it's flooded. There's no gas in the line. It's just gravity fed from the force of the water. That's why I had to do like a double decker setup like this so the force can keep pushing. They say you don't need to use a pump, a water pump, if you uh, have it, you know, a certain number of inches above the inlet port. And then the other two ports are oxygen out and hydrogen out. Oxygen and, and water come through here and you can see the oxygen is bubbling uh, through the re reservoir. And uh, I could talk about this one in a moment, but right now the oxygen is being vented right out of here. If I was to keep my thumb over there, this stopper is going to pop right out. So, um, <clears throat> this is kind of cool right here. I have actually tapered that hole so it won't chew out the stopper as it did on my last hydrogen generator. It fits in there very snugly and it you just press down a little bit and it will hold in um, quite a bit. You can put quite a bit of pressure on the outlet. You can't close it off, but if you're filling a balloon or you know something like that, it's not gonna the stopper is not gonna pop out. So the other one, the top right one here is the hydrogen out. A little bit of water as all PEM electrolyzers that as you can see, there's water in the line. You don't just get hydrogen. And I said I was gonna talk about, about this later and that's what separates the water out. So you have water and gas going in and you can see there is a little device that floats up. You can see the water level right there. Um, as the, so the water goes to the bottom and as that rises up, there's a a valve oh, it just allows a pathway down here and up this tube and I have it actually dripping it periodically drips back into the water reservoir so I don't lose that that water that's being carried over to the hydrogen side so um, the only caveat with this is that the output line you have to have enough pressure to force that water in order to keep enough back pressure on the line to keep the water dripping into the reservoir, I have this valve almost closed. Um, and then that goes to the balloon. But I am filling a balloon right now. And I just started this one as I started the video. Uh, it's a, I think this is a 24 inch balloon. Here I have a little one way valve um, so that I could uh, feed the oxygen into there if I want to, um, to make oxyhydrogen, which is makes a huge explosion if you like that, a um, more, lot more so than just a hydrogen balloon. Um, yeah, that actually I didn't mention this. That's, I, I have a valve on the water inlet from the hydrogen side as well, um, so that there's no way 
the oxygen and the hydrogen are going to mix um, within this generator. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, right now I've got it, I purposely have it set really low. It is only drawing 1.7 volts per cell. So I said 10 cells, 17.3 volts. That's 1.73 volts per cell. It's only taking 92 watts. Uh, yeah, I'm just, so I've got it set to constant current. Go ahead and ramp it up. You can see the voltage is still very low. It, it um, doesn't take much for this electrolytic cell to pull a lot of power. Um, let's see, at only 18.4 volts, it's already taken over 10 amps. It'll, it's gonna fill the balloon fast at this rate, but I'm not gonna stop there. Um, 134 amps is a liter a minute. So 13.4 amps is a liter a minute um, for 10 cells. And so that's where I'm at right now. So you're seeing a half a liter a minute of oxygen coming out right there. Let's see if I can capture that water. Yep, you see it dripping. The only thing with the returning the water to the reservoir from here is that it will pick up some ions somehow. I'm not sure where they're, where they're coming from. I have my TDS meter and this water is zero. It's distilled water and deionized. But if I keep letting the like if I was to run this for hours and hours and just throw away the hydrogen water, it stays at zero if I test it later. But by, by running the water back back into it like this, it'll eventually start, it'll be, become one and two, maybe in a couple of days, it might be three. So I'm, I actually devised a, a water cleaner that can re-deionize it right in the reservoir so I don't have to dump it out and put in fresh water. So I turned the current down to about a liter a minute and left it for an hour. And uh, this is how big the balloon is now. That's just a liter a minute so I could do it twice as fast if I wanted to. And at this point the water is just barely warm to the touch. So what I plan on doing with this balloon when it's done, and this will be a future video, is I have a little camera here, a little 4K camera. So this is gonna be kind of dangerous. Um, here we go, here's all the stuff. I'm gonna tie uh, the string to the camera and the balloon, and I'm gonna launch it up into the air and try to do a panorama from way up in the sky and these little clips are a nice way to tie the balloon without having to these large balloons are extremely hard to tie and so that's what I plan on doing I just hope this doesn't somehow come untied or or fall to the ground either way I lose my camera anyway thanks for watching